While polls in the United States may show that the presidential election is super close, razor thin margins. Every other day we're getting polls showing us, Oh my God, we don't know. Everybody's within the margin of error. Harris could win all seven swing states or she could lose all seven swing states. Trump could win. She could lose. She could win. He could lose. Oh my God. It's impossible to keep up. Right. But if you're brave enough to take a little reading adventure outside of the uh, borders of the United States, you'll find that the rest of the world, most of the rest of the world has quite a different opinion. And luckily we're starting to get polls now out of other countries to find out who these people, most of them are very close allies who they want to win the presidential election. And it's no contest. When you ask people looking from the outside in people who don't even get a say in our elections, they overwhelmingly tell us, please America, do not reelect Donald Trump. The first poll we have is a YouGov poll that found that uh, 64% of Britons want vice president Harris to beat Donald Trump. Trump only has the backing of 18% of Britons, 64 to 18% with one of our closest allied countries, even the prime minister of the UK does not want Donald Trump to win the election. If that's not good enough for you, Denmark, Denmark, the numbers are even worse. Denmark has over 80% of voters who say they want Harris to beat Donald Trump. Germany's numbers are roughly the same as in the UK. So you've got all these countries over there. Again, most of them are close allies in Europe, uh, including obviously Ukraine, um, telling us, please America for our sake, for the sake of your friends and allies overseas, do not put this man back in power. We need our allies. That's why they are our allies. I don't know if I need to explain that, but that's why. If we didn't need them, they wouldn't be our allies. We need them for trade. We need them for military purposes. We need them for our own national security and they need us as well. And if we put somebody in the white house that repeatedly demeans them and treats them like garbage, like Donald Trump does a man who threatens not just our economy, but their economies as well with his tariff plan, we could lose these vital allies which means we could lose an integral part of our national security apparatus. That's dangerous. It's literally dangerous for us to be in that position. Now, if you think it's just our friends and allies in Europe, you'd be mistaken because even in the country of Palestine, and we all know what's happening over there right now, more than 39,000 Palestinians have been killed. And that's just what's reported. I'm willing to bet the number is obviously much higher than that. But even they think that Donald Trump would obviously be worse than vice president Kamala Harris. Now they admit if Harris wins, it's not going to change their situation, but they do say in a recent survey, Trump would be worse because Trump's going to let Israel wipe them off the face of the map. With Harris, at least they know what they can expect with Donald Trump. They're worried they may get nuked. So to all those people who say that, no, I'm not going to vote for Harris because of her position on Israel, Palestine. Why don't you listen to the Palestinians who say that? Yes, yeah, she wouldn't be great, but she would still be better than Donald Trump. Okay. You, you tell us to listen to them. Okay. Well, we're listening. You have to do the same but it is what it is. Donald Trump is a threat to the planet. And apparently every country other than the United States overwhelmingly understands that fact.
Thanks for watching today, everybody. And don't forget, if you're not already, please do subscribe to this channel. We have fresh content going up every single day, and I would really hate for you to miss out on that. And speaking of missing out, if you're not following me across all other social media outlets, then get on it. You can follow the links in the description of this video.